Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to access the Wesley University Learning Management System using web browsers. So you can use any web browser of your choice in, on your phone or on your laptop. So come along, let's go. So basically there are two ways to access it. And one way is that you visit the university website, which is um, wesleyuni.edu.ng. Wesleyuni.edu.ng. It loads up the website for you. And then you click on virtual learning. Virtual learning. That's virtual learning portal. Then it loads it and brings up the learning portal. So you can see Wesley in a virtual learning environment. So that is one way to um, assess. The second way is that you can type this URL directly on your browser. That is lms.wesleyuni.edu.ng and submit. Then it takes you directly into the learning portal. So it tells you that this learning management system for Wesley University is built on modular object-oriented dynamic learning environments to make teaching and learning easy. And then there is a welcome note here for us to take note of. Now it is uh, designed to support blended teaching and learning. And it is um, very easy to navigate, to use, to upload and assess course contents, to administer and take quizzes and other academic activities. Okay, we also have um, features for audio, video, and images. We also have um, features for interactive chats, forum posts, private messaging, etc. So, when you have uh, any technical problem, you can contact the administrator. Normally, there will be announcements here, which is in form of a um, post. So, once you sign in, um, you can always see announcements. You can also contribute to a topic that will be raised. Okay. And then, you can also do a search on the course. If there is any part of the course you can remember but don't remember other details, you can do a search. For instance, I want to check uh, something on cloud. So if there is any course we have on the learning system that relates to cloud. So I type the cloud and then I click on go. And then I watch it as it loads up. All right, it fetches um, a course called ECI 0241 Cloud Usage Fundamentals. And then it gives me the list of lecturers and the students that have been enrolled for that course. Quite a number of students for the course. All right. And then if you try to assess the, the course further or to check the pro profile of any of these persons, it's going to show you something. For instance, let's try to check more of um, the course by tapping there. Now what it does is to take us to a login um, page, meaning that without us logging in, we will not be able to move further. Now let's try to assess the profile of anyone here. Uh, maybe you want to check the profile of, um, who is there? Maybe a profile of um, Victory Adekoya. Adekoye. Okay, so we'll tap there and then Let's see if we can see that profile. Right? It still tells us we have to log in first. So it means we can't actually uh, pro uh, make uh, progress without us logging in. So login parameters are very important for us to have. Now, um, emails are supposed to be sent to all users of this system. And the emails will contain the login parameters, which should be the usernames and the passwords for each user so we'll try to log in 
so um, if I'm logging in with my details see I'm logging in with this and then say login that's what happens now it tells me invalid login please try again it means that either of these two parameters is wrong so um, if I forget my password or my username so I can just go to forgotten your username or password and then and let's see what happens if I forget any of them okay so it means that uh, we can do a search of username here okay Oh, that is to confirm if the username we are using is actually correct if it exists or we can do a search by email address so any of these two uh, will help us so, uh, to be sure which of those things we've keyed in is correct now if our email that we enter here is correct a new password will be sent to the email address okay so it's important we take note of that so let me try to log in with CSC 2018-001 then enter my password and then I log in okay um, the login is successful and then uh, the very first thing that comes up to me is um, a message saying you must change your password to proceed so every first timer every first uh, user uh, first time user is given a temporary password so each user is expected to change their password to anything that will suit this rule that has been specified the password must be at least eight characters uh, must have at least one digit at least one lower case letter at least one upper case letter at least one alphanumeric character so these rules must be observed while forming password now if the password is not changed um there is um, really nothing we can do on this uh, system for instance if you try to check your private files it still tells you you must change your password to proceed so we will have to change our password before we can um, proceed so i'm going to change now I have to put in the current password, the default password that would have been sent to us via mail and then I can uh, form a new password okay and then I say save changes All right, it tells me password has been changed. All right, congratulations if you have done that. So you just click continue. All right, so that's it on how to assess the, the virtual learning environment. Okay, in the next tutorial, I will show you how to navigate your dashboard and how to manage your user profile. Please go ahead like our videos subscribe to the channel and then enable the notification icon so that whenever we upload new contents or new tutorials you'll be the first to know thank you